for the, for the trip in, in Cap Verde Irish. And, eh? Yeah, on G Gmail. Um, oh, I'll get it. I'll put it on there on your other email. Cause you got two. The one you just said. What's that one? Yeah, I'll put it on there now. I just put them. The other ones have all those other ones have got it as well. And so, uh, so um, they'll be well informed what's going on. And Sue's got a, Sue's got her thing today. That uh, thing, the Desmond took it around to her to get the to the the, the um, itinerary to pay for for the money. She was waiting. She was waiting for that, but she, she's got it now. He took it around today. Uh, no, no. She's told Desmond it'll be three weeks. Um, but uh, she's got it and she's quite happy with it, so you'll see all that going together. And uh, she's, uh, what's your thing again? Say it again. Oh yeah, no, oh, I'll make sure I'll, I'll, I'll put it on this one. I've only just put them out now, so I'll put it on this one now, eh? Oh, yeah. Just put it on both, mate. Put it on both. Yeah, okay. I will. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put it on both. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Yeah, that's... Kingy. Uh, he was struggling to get his email, but... Um, oh, shucks. What's happening here? Um, and later in the news are okay. how defiant Londoners take another lethal attack in their stride. Back here now, police have renewed their appeal for sightings of a Christchurch man who hasn't been seen in nearly two weeks. Hang on. Officers are still searching for Michael McGrath, who disappeared in suspicious circumstances. Um, so, um, I'll just flip um, Kingy on. So, um, he'll be quite pleased to, to get the itinerary. And we're... Um, Putting things together so that um, the uh, war day um, that the government is trying to capitalise on the flag, on the 1835 Declaration of Independence flag, it doesn't belong to them. It's not their call. It's not their contract either. They are mischievous and I just want to make sure that all the chiefs up north uh, we're rallying behind what you do uh, with the uh, 1835 side of the flag. You have to sort the government out with that and give this other side, the 1834, of the same Ngāpui chiefs and everybody there, uh, the bill. Okay, so that's what we're expecting the 1835 to do, is to put the bill together and give it to the 1834, the flip side of the flag. Okay, you got that? It's pretty simple. Uh, just try to make it as plain as possible, uh, in plain English, how that works. One side is commercial contract, and the other side is the hapu and its debt that's um, against the Crown Corporation. That's where you're stuck on that side to bill them for all the wrongdoing. So that's your job. And the other side, the 1834, is to chase the debts with the credit note, the pound note that belongs to the natives anyway. So I'm just saying we are all ready to go to Britain and um, sort out the titles there that belongs to the chiefs here. I'm saying things that way to separate the two parts of the flag as being the chiefs signed with the king, 13 chiefs, and on the other side, the 38 and more chiefs signed with the queen, Victoria. So that's the New South Wales, Australia and New Zealand government's contract. So that's the one that the Crown, New Zealand Crown, 
and uh, Iwi Maori are playing around with because they are the mischief pirates who dissolved the 1835 part of the flag but they could not touch the 1834 side of the flag that's still allowing it to fly. It is flying high as a British flag. Okay, so that's the difference to separate the two and you go after them with the bill to charge them whatever on your land all over the country. We have now got commercial land owners one at a time, we don't have to take them all together, but we're just saying the paramount chiefs and the sheriffs are the commercial land owners as opposed to native owners. That's the difference. The 1835 Declaration of Independence is native landowners. No value, no, no um, uh, mana. It's been all taken off by the Crown and their Maori land court. And it has no, uh, no monetary value in a native title. Okay, it's just a um, token gesture of uh, honouring a treaty that's fraudulent. And the other side is the um, uh, King's contract, uh, which is um, the opposite side of being commercial and value as commercial land owners. Okay, now you, you, you got the story? I think you're, you're getting it. It's nice that you are getting it. And um, uh, I must say that Kingy is uh, quite happy with our progress. And um, the sooner we get to London, the better. We are about ready to go, but we are gone soon now to provide the funds to get us there. Or otherwise, we'll, we'll get it somehow or another, when you get this around your head, how this part of the commercial contract works. So now we have the the um, Paramount Chiefs, Kingi Taurua, um, Bundy Waitai and um, uh, Hirawini Karaka. Those three are the only ones who signed into this contract right through. Okay. You can't stand on the side and sign it and then leave it at that and hope the hell it works. No, they are dedicated with myself as being signatory to these contracts straight to Britain as the other commercial partner in a two-party contract in the Magistrate Court of Admiralty. Okay, you got that? That's in Britain and in Scotland, Edinburgh the land titles of the Manukau Company, commercial landowners of Te Rawaikato, Wharaherehere, Manukau, there, and Hongihika, I'll count him in as being party to that contract, even though he didn't sign it. According to Mohi Manukau, it was all Manukau um, title to Moriori title here as being, that's what the Crown in Britain picked. The Crown in New Zealand picked their Maoris as their Iwi Maoris, not the Hapu Maoris, the Iwi Maoris, the plastic Maoris, that are mischief to Peter Peroni to have Ngāti Hine put together a war celebration and um, to uh, New Zealand land wars in Ruapekapeka. I know all about that. I'll pull it all out because Mohi Manukau took me through there um, on the way to um, Whangarei. I know the places where the war took place. And I've got it on videos. We are videoed with him. And all those battlegrounds along there on the way to Dargaville. And um, up in the back of... Um, Pai here, um, and also um, um, in Kaipara on the way through to Waikato. 
Okay, so those are, are just graphic uh, scenes that I have on my head uh, that affected me with what Mohi was telling me about all the stories of what happened to his tribe was slaughtered. The Moriori's uh, were uh, harmless people and they hated the sight of blood. So that was Mohi's uh, uh, hapu and uh, I carry all that um, with me until it's resolved. So that's, um, I'm glad now that Kingi will be waiting for his um, um, mail. I better do that now while I'm talking to you and forward it on to him. I think that's it there. I'll forward it, forward it on to So um, I'm just um, happy that Sue got her um, the um, itinerary today for the Paramount Chiefs. There's four of us. I put four as going, but we still got enough money to cover us, um, and I'm, I'm uh, uh, going to be using all that money up at some stage or another to get everything going. Uh, we, we, we needed more than a million, but however, I'm going to stretch it out and keep the cost down as much as I can. Um, add that and add That's all. No, I'm not going to spend it to anybody else. I'll just send it to the ones who I think are going to um, get things going. So, uh, here we go. Um, can you? I'll send this off to you. Now, I'll just see, make sure everything's there. Just resending the email to the ones that I wanted to go to, who I think might have missed out to make sure we got all the documents there. Oh, yes, we have. Okay, um, that's it. I'll send it off. Send. There we go. Now, there, Kingy's got it now. Okay, he's got it. Cool. Now I can carry on talking. Turn this TV down so I can talk to you. I'll put these on to Facebook shortly. The um, the whole thing um, that I've just emailed out. So that means more people will get it. Uh, and to tell others to spread uh, this uh, message. Uh, about the um, this um, mischievous government uh, that are playing around with our flag 
it's none of their business. Uh, uh, we're going to put the pressure on them and make them pay up. That we're going to target them and pull them into contract with us. This, this is the trick. The trick is to pull each Crown agent into contract with us because we are the landowners. And that's what I'm going to express on another video uh, or uh, the Paramount Chiefs uh, or any paramount chief for that matter, or any chief for that matter in the world, or here in New Zealand, you can call yourself a chief, you can, anybody can call himself a chief. But when it comes to talking on these documents, then you'll fit in if um, you um, pass the little ticks in the boxes, then why not? Uh, because a chief can be anyone, really, if they are up to it. And they know not to break any of the rules. Uh, then I see no reason why not. Um, because we need the numbers and the managers and the administrators of all this business that you see going together is not exactly small. We are talking in double digits about um, what we do. Now this is what it says, not on He Whakaputanga Day, New Zealand land wars. The government is mischief to set up land wars and they're leaving out the Waikato people, the Tainui people, out of their education part. They're not, they're not going to allow any of this to go into the curriculum at school to learn any of these land wars. They're just doing this to steal this flag for their administration of admiralty. They, they don't have an admiralty. They're going to get a big bill or they, they can get locked up for tampering with our information. Kingi and Bundy and Hedewini, Kraka, are you watching what I'm saying? Watch my lips. Is that the Crown and their government agents are tampering with your historic evidence, information and private contract information and legal instruments. They are holding on to this flag that doesn't belong to them. It is not their contract. The 1835 and the 1840 is not the same contract as the 1834 came straight to Britain. <clears throat> the 1835 has been tampered by this crown in New Zealand with the Queen. Elizabeth and Queen Victoria and Australia are going to get wrapped out, right out. Once this takes a hold, once this house of cards knocks over Cook Street, you're gone. You're gone. It's going to fall around your ears one at a time. The sheriffs will be coming after you on these lands and every other native land in the world. They'll be coming after you. Okay, so those sheriffs who are in Britain at the moment, take warning, take heed that uh, we require you as soon as we get going to join in the Moai Crown King William IV Trust and the um, Moai Powerhouse Group Limited Limited Company in London we have set up as a shareholding, a billion shares in that company, one in Scotland, one in Ireland and every other country will be going to Denmark as well and France as well. So we'll be kicking off those countries once we get into Britain and our administration set up. We have Matt Taylor and his wife, Karina, in Brighton, uh, Sussex, England, um, to look after the um, company in London. And we have um, Andy, and, um, Andy and Jackie Little Gordon in Scotland, in um, Aberdeenshire. Um, that's four hours, um, four hours north west of uh, London. 
um, we'll be visiting them as well. Um, they'll be looking after the business there in in Edinburgh. We'll be operating in Edinburgh, uh, where the Freemasons are. <coughs> I'll be paying them a visit. I'll be communicating with that um, Freemason. is different to the Freemasons in New Zealand and anywhere else in the world. They're all different. They're not the same. We have our own original Freemasons in Edinburgh and the Crown there. We'll be dealing with the castles and all the rest of the Crown estate lands under King Ernest Augustus V, the reigning monarch of Britain, UK and Hanover and Altair, New Zealand and Pacific Islands and the Commonwealth countries of the world under this flag. That's his job. Okay, so that's our authority, straight to him. And we're going after all the crooked thugs. And I see John Key has just been made a sir. He won't be having no sir after the time we get to his properties and take them from him. We're going to seize him off you, John Key. You are the Panama Papers fraudster, criminal. I'm telling this in front of everybody around the world. This is a citation of evidence, fact, that you cannot defend what I'm saying against you. You're a thug and a pirate on the high seas and you're going to get locked up and your properties seized off you by the sheriffs and the paramount chiefs in this country. There'll be a few of them joining up before long. Okay, we'll need sheriffs, we'll need paramount chiefs, there'll be plenty of them around, white ones, green ones, blue ones, brown ones, and so forth. So um, this is about everyone, not just Maoris. In fact, we are Maori, you can call yourself a Maori, because it's got nothing to do with anybody, and he's clean. Okay, Maori's clean and has no baggage with him, okay? No baggage, no debts, no bad name, and no bad image, okay? He stares at you all day long, all night, and he is honest. Deeds of truth, spirit of the earth with his dirt hat on his head, as higher intelligence. Okay? That's us. That is us and a straightforward, clean cut organization and business. Just straight up. And that's why I chuck everything online so that you can see. So I'm going to put this on to Facebook and um, a YouTube video with it with the um, writ warrant and also the um, um, itinerary for us to go to Britain and Europe. We're going to Europe as well. And I have the uh, Tidal Energy Project to go into Scotland. I think they'll be quite excited to have this um, all up and running in no time. And also the uh, British Lapcat uh, A2 hydrogen powered passenger plane. We're hoping to get that all sorted on the contract. When I say we, uh, I can't see anybody else around yet uh, but myself putting that together uh, over the years of hydrogen and HB technologies in Taiwan with the solid metal hydrogen tanks. We'll be going to see Mr. Bhutan, Bhutan, Bhutan. Um, the director there have been in talks with him uh, back in 2009-10 uh, that he will um, make the tanks for our aircraft and long range tanks and also um, um, we'll be uh, modifying a Boeing aircraft to uh, have long range tanks to fly around as well. So we've got all those things in place 
uh, and ready to go. Okay, so uh, that's all I think I'll say for now. Until I get the carving tomorrow, I'll leave that for tomorrow. The four pillars of the four main tribes of um, Ngāpui, um, Waikato, Aotea and uh, Te Arawa uh, tribes that uh, Mohi Manukau had constructed um, a whakapapa that I have here, I've seen, you've seen it enough times uh, with that carving that was um, hidden in the swamp in the Kaipara Harbour and mysteriously got found by a Pākehā uh, who got a bit frightened about it because it was growing hairs all over it and it just kept growing and uh, he took it to Mohi Manukau and the hair stopped growing when Mohi got it. So I'm hoping that I will come across it um, being stored away somewhere um, and uh, it can return uh, to the main um, um, Commonwealth Government Parliament in Cornwall Park in um, the um, Green Lane in the One Tree Hill domain area. That's where Mohi Manaka wanted his parliament uh, for the government here of the um, Moai Crown um, um, Federal State Commonwealth Government of the World will be there. That's a world government there, uh, connected to Britain, our partner. So I'm just saying these things that are, are being pre-planned and they were always there uh, with uh, the Manukau title in England at 1820 to 1830. That title was already in play uh, back with uh, Te Rawaikato Wharahedehere Manukau. That's who I'm talking for. I'm talking for him, for Refa Refa Manukau, here, selling the lands here. The Manukau lands they were selling. And um, Te Rawaikato Wharahedehere Manukau, selling the Manukau lands from England. Okay, so those two were going together. And then Mohi Manukau came along with the Rogans and carried on selling the lands, the same lands. Okay, so I'm saying I'm there now to pick up on those land sales and what to do with them. What are we going to do with all those land sales right through the world? The same Manukau land right through the world on that President Case native blueprint title to this country right through the world. Okay, so that's all. We'll spot you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.